Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon TCG video. Today's deck is going to be a slightly unconventional deck, a really a strategy that we hadn't really seen a whole lot of uh, since the Lysander's Trump card was a part of the Phantom Forces set. But now with Lysander's Trump card no longer being a part of the game, uh, we can really see an increase in the number of mill types of decks where we essentially try and deck out the opponent. So we have two star players in this type of deck. One of them is going to be the Ninjask with the Wing Buzz ability. This will allow us to discard a card from our hand uh, provided that the Ninjask is our active Pokemon and whenever we do so we are also able to discard the top card of our opponent's deck. So Ninjask is a very important Pokemon in this deck. Unfortunately with the restriction that it has to be our active Pokemon we're gonna have to include a lot of switch cards in this deck so we're actually running a total of four copies of the switch card in our deck and three copies of the escape rope guys uh, just to be able to switch in between our bunnelbees and our ninjasks and from our and from one ninjask to another one as well so uh, we have to dedicate quite a bit of deck space to it but um, unfortunately that's really the only sort of efficient way of running a ninjask deck at least for the time being so we are running a total of four copies of the ninjask guys and as you guys can see we're running a total of four copies of the switch card as well and three copies of the escape rope as well the main attacker of our deck guys is going to be the bunnel with the omega barrage ability we're going to be repeatedly using the burrow attack discarding the top card of our opponent's deck luckily omega barrage allows us to use this attack twice in any given turn so bunnel b is a pretty cool pokemon to include uh, we are running a total of four copies of it in our deck as well uh, as you guys can see we're also running a total of four copies of the juniper four copies of the ultra ball as well so there's quite a high likelihood that we're going to get some of our bunnel bees and the ninjasks into the discard pile as well but we shouldn't worry too too much about it just because we are running a single copy of the sacred ash in our deck as well which will allow us to shuffle five pokemon from our discard pile back into our deck so it's a pretty useful card um, I would highly recommend including it we are running a single copy of it in our deck also want to discuss the last two Pokemon in our deck as well guys we are running the Verzin Yex with the Vernant Wind ability we're not going to be using it as an attacker whatsoever. We're just going to be focusing on using its Verdant Wind ability to allow us to um, just negate any sorts of special conditions from inflicting any of our Pokemon. Of course, provided that they have any Grass Energy cards attached to them. We are running a total of six copies of the Grass Energy. So Versinyx can certainly come in handy with respects to a lot of different situations. Again, we are running a single copy of him. And the very last Pokemon in our deck, guys, is going to be the Execute. Now, with the Ninjask's ability, we're always forced to discard a card from our hand and by doing so we're also able to discard the top card of our opponent's deck so execute with its propagation ability we can repeatedly put into our discard pile put it back into our hand put it back into our discard pile put it back into our hand so execute is just the perfect sort of partner with respects to the ninjask's ability so we are running two copies of the execute in our deck now unfortunately our pokemon are very very easy to knock out and we have to make it such that we are able to draw on to well we're able to deck out our opponent before they're able to draw to six of their prize cards so we have a lot of cards to try and slow down our opponent one of those cards is going to be the team flare grunt an energy disruption supporter card will allow us to discard um, an energy card attached to our opponent's active pokemon so team flare grunt is a pretty cool card we are running a single copy of that in our deck we're running a total of two copies of the headringer this will force our opponent's ex pokemon um, to have an additional energy card attached to them if they'd like to be able to attack so headringer also allows us to slow down a whole lot of pokemon as well so we are running two copies of the headringer in our deck we're running a total of four copies of the crushing hammer Again, this is another card that will hopefully allow us to discard an energy card attached to any of our opponent's Pokemon, be they, they regardless of it's their active Pokemon or one of their benched Pokemon. Uh, same sort of function with the Enhanced Hammer. It is restricted to special energies, but unlike the Crushing Hammer, it doesn't require a flip card for us to be able to get rid of an energy card. So Enhanced Hammer is a pretty cool item card to include in this sort of deck as well. And the very last uh, disruption sort of card that we have in our deck is two copies of the Hypnotoxic Laser. Ideally, we'd like to be able to get a head and put our opponent's active Pokemon under the sleep condition. So Hypnotoxic Laser, another very cool card to include. We are running two copies of that. Um, the other cards in our deck guys are pretty self-explanatory with the exception of the Trick Shuffle which I'm briefly going to be discussing. So Trick Shuffle will allow us to look at the top card of either player's deck. Ideally we'd like to look at the top card of our opponent's deck and then we can go right ahead and get some of, the, uh, some of their cards into the discard pile as well. So Trick Shuffle 
very very cool card we are running four copies of this in our deck as well the rest of our cards guys i'm going to briefly be discussing them we are running a single copy of the startling megaphone to allow us to get rid of any tool type attachments to any of our opponent's pokemon namely speaking this is for us to deal with garbodors and to latch on our head ringers to any ex pokemon as well a single copy of the computer search is going to be our ace spec card guys uh, we are running a total of four copies of the ultra ball just to allow us to grab onto any of the pokemon that we need three vs seekers to reuse any of our supporter type cards a single lysander to lure out any of our opponent's bench pokemon two ends will allow us to um get some new cards in our hand same goes for the opponent a professor birch and professor juniper uh we're running four copies of the juniper my apologies and those are some additional draw supporter cards in our deck as well so with that guys we're gonna go and find ourselves an opponent um and I have to say I've been tweaking this deck a whole lot. Initially, I had included the Shaman Yax in our deck, but um, I really realized later on that it was a very counterintuitive sort of card. Without us being able to get that Shaman Yax back into our hand, it was just very easy for the opponent to knock out, uh, as opposed to the Pokemon that we are running in our deck now, uh, just because our opponent has to get rid of a total of six of them to be able to draw onto all of their prize cards. So I felt like Shaman Yax was just a card that seemed to cause a lot more trouble as opposed to it being helpful in our type of deck. Alright, so it looks like we're going to start off with an Encada as our active Pokemon. I'm probably going to have to resort to using the Juniper. Let's go and use the Trick Shovel. Looks like the opponent is running a bat sort of deck, so this could be a little bit troubling um, in case they can quite easily pick off our Pokemon, which again have very, very low HP. So I'm not really sure if this is a very good sort of matchup. First, let's go and bring out a Bunnelby though temporarily and lay down in our bench. Attach a Grass Energy card to the Bunnelby and then use the Juniper for some new cards in our hand. Let's go and lay down another Nankata and a Bunnelby once again. And with that, we're going to have to go and end our turn. Um, I'm thinking our opponent is probably running the uh, Lander CX, okay, no, it looks like it's going to be a Latios EX uh, go bat sort of deck. The Nincada is unfortunately going to get knocked out with a single attack. Let's go and bring out our other Nincada as our active Pokemon temporarily. Let's go and attach a Headringer onto the opponent's Latios EX. Uh, bring out the Ninjask, which we will be able to make use of its special ability in just a minute. I'm going to go and lay down a Bunnelby, um, attach a Grass Energy card to one of our Bunnelbys, and I think I'm going to go and use the Juniper as well, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're probably... Yeah, you know what? We're going to go and use the Juniper. So let's go and use the Wing Buzz ability, first of all, to get rid of the top card of our opponent's deck. Use the VS Seeker, look for that Juniper, and then look for some new cards in our hand. Okay, so we have the Sacred Ash. We only have an Nankata in our discard pile. I don't think that's too worrying. So let's go and lay down another Nankata onto the bench as well. I'm going to go and retreat that Ninjask for the time being, bring out the Bunnel B and then let's go right ahead and use burrow to discard the top two cards of our opponent's deck so really now it's become a game of speed um if our opponent is able to knock out our pokemon quickly enough to be able to draw into all of their prize cards they will probably be able to win the game uh for able to take out our opponent then we'll be able to win the game so all right so it looks like the opponent is unable to attack with their latios ex just yet so this is certainly going to work in our favor I'm going to go and use the switch card to bring out the ninja as our active Pokemon. Let's go and use that Team Flare Grunt, get rid of that energy card attached to the opponent's Latios EX. Attach another Grass Energy card to our Bunnelby. Use the Wing Buzz to get rid of a... Um, let's go and get rid of a Juniper temporarily. I don't think we have an Execute in our discard pile. Let me just take a look. Yeah, so it looks like we don't. So let's go and use Wing Buzz, get rid of the uh, Professor Juniper from our hand temporarily. Uh, retreat to bring out one of our Bunnelbys, and then let's go and use the Burrow attack twice. Discard the top two cards of our opponent's deck, and uh, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be our opponent's turn once again. Uh, I don't think our opponent is particularly pleased at the moment. I mean, they're not really able to attack. We are seeing the Colorus. Our opponent's going to be able to finally bring out that Megalatio X, which, by the way, requires four energy cards for the opponent to be able to attack with it. So I would say things are certainly in our favor right now. I don't really want to use another Juniper guy, so I think I'm going to go and use the N for the time being to get some new cards in our hand. Uh, let's go and use the uh, Escape Rope and bring out the Ninjask as our active Pokemon. I'm going to go and use the Wing Buzz to get rid of the Lysander. I don't really think we're going to be seeing a whole lot of it just because our opponent will be able to freely retreat in between his Pokemon and then uh, discard the top card of our opponent's deck again. Let's go and retreat, bring out the Bunnelby once again and use the Burrow to discard the top two cards of our opponent's deck. And awesome, so things are looking uh, pretty good for us right now. 
that Mega Latios CX again also has the free retreat cost, so I don't really think that. Uh, Lysander would really have been all that helpful of a card. The Shaman EX is going to come out um, just... Uh, I mean, that's not really a wise Pokemon to be playing against our type of deck. Uh, the Mega Latios EX is going to get the Double Dragon Energy attached to it. Luckily, we have the Enhanced Hammer in our hand. We are seeing the Computer Search as well. Possibly going to be seeing some Golbats coming out. Yeah, and Golbat is going to try and um, stack some damage counters onto some of our Pokemon. And that Mega Latios EX Raid, it can make use of its previous attacks due to the Shrine of Memories card. So I absolutely uh, overlooked that Stadium card. So let's go and use the uh, Enhanced Hammer, get rid of that Double Dragon Energy. I'm going to go and use the Trick Shovel to get rid of the top card of our opponent's deck, which happens to be another Mega Latios EX. Um, I don't think we're really going to make use of the Hypnotoxic Laser again. The opponent is able to freely retreat in between his Pokemon. So I'm going to go and use the Wing Buzz and send it into our own discard pile. Let's go and retreat, bring out the Bunnel B, and then use the Bureau Attack twice to discard the top two cards of our opponent's deck. Awesome. I am uh, quite happy that we are seeing quite a bit of energy cards in our opponent's discard pile. I mean, he's going to need... Okay, so Mega Turbo will potentially allow him to attack as well. I mean, if he's only really able to use the fast rate attack though, our Bunnelby should be able to survive an attack, so that would be kind of nice. And we do have two Crushing Hammers in our hand as well. A Gold Bat, yeah, so unfortunately it looks like the Bunnelby is going to get knocked out. So those Gold Bats really are starting to uh, add up with respect to how much damage they are hitting our Pokemon for. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say that we can get rid of the Grass Energy card uh, using the wing bus ability. So let's go and start off by using the crushing hammers. Really hoping for two heads, guys. Awesome. Looks like we're going to get one heads. Let's go and use the other crushing hammer. Eight heads once again. My goodness. Um, quite happy about that. Let's go and use wing buzz. Unfortunately, we have no more cards in our hand. But um, really, really hoping that we're able to get some sort of draw supporter during our next turn. Let's go and use Burrow. Discard the top two cards of our opponent's deck once again. We are seeing, wow, my goodness, we've seen uh, three of our opponent's Crobats go into the discard pile. So that's quite nice because, uh, of course, those Golbats can be quite menacing. Uh, again, we don't have a single card remaining in our hand at the moment so really really at the mercy of whatever card we are able to draw into next hopefully we can get um the juniper would be ideal professor birch's observation would be good as well i really don't want to draw an n at the moment because i feel like that's going to help out our opponent by reducing the number of cards they have in their hand so we're seeing another zubat this sycamore opponent is trimming down their own deck my goodness um, so let's see if that's going to backfire eventually. Really hoping that Mega Latios CX can't knock out our Bunnelby just yet. We're seeing another Golbat. Unfortunately, that Bunnelby is going to get sent into the discard pile. And we're also quite unlucky, guys, just because we haven't been able to get a single one of our executes into the discard pile. Um, unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot. My goodness, our opponent. Two prize cards remaining for them to be able to win. Um, I'm going to have to use the Wing Buzz, and then I think I'm going to go and retreat to bring out the Nankata as our active Pokemon. And unfortunately with that, guys, I have to go and end the turn. Uh, things are not looking really good for us. The opponent is going to knock out the Nankata. So let's see what we're able to draw into with a mere four cards remaining in our opponent's deck. Um, I think we may actually lose this battle. I mean, there's a pretty high likelihood. The Hypnotoxic Laser, we're going to flip the heads, hoping that the Mega Latios CX remains asleep. Awesome. Looks like the opponent is going to flip the tails. I mean, now it's really crunch time. We're really at the mercy of um, what we're able to draw into next or whether or not the opponent may have some sort of switch card. I'm hoping they don't, though. I had seen the escape rope, yeah, and I believe a switch card into the... And the opponent's discard pile as well. Oh no, so maybe they were just running a single escape rope. Again, his uh, most of his Pokemon is a, are able to retreat freely, so uh, maybe the opponent decided that uh, they wouldn't need the inclusion of a whole lot of switch types of cards in their particular type of deck. Uh, so right now we're just waiting to see what the opponent does. I don't think they really can do anything. Uh, maybe they have an N in their hand or something like that, but um, they may be a little bit reluctant with respect to playing it because that may just help us out. So again, we are just waiting to see what the opponent does. Um, I would love to be able to draw into a supporter card, guys. N now or never, I mean, um, VS Seeker would also be useful as well. But we already have two of our, three of our Junipers in our discard pile as well. And um, yeah, so that is absolutely true. But um, I don't know. So I'm really at the mercy of what card we're able to draw into as well. Uh, so I'm just going to wish our opponent luck because I'm not really sure uh, what's going to happen. We're seeing another energy card get attached to our opponent's Latios X. The N is going to help us out. So um, 
I'm quite thankful for that. All right, so let's go and lay down a bundle. We attach a grass energy card to him, um, and I'll certainly be using um, the Juniper, I think, is definitely a card that I want to make use of. So first of all, let's go and use the Wing Buzz, get rid of a card from our hand to get rid of the top card of our opponent's deck. Uh, I'm going to go and use that VS Seeker uh, for the Juniper. I could Lysander. Mm, I mean, if I Lysander it up, it's Shaman EX, um, and he doesn't have an energy card. You know what? I think I may just look for that Lysander, guys. I'm hoping that it's not a mistake, but um, at this point, I'm not really sure how the battle is going to end up. So let's go and retreat and use the Burrow to get rid of the top two cards of our opponent's deck. I mean, again, our opponent only has a single card in their hand, so really, really hoping that this was the right choice. If the opponent doesn't have an energy card, we should be able to win the game, guys. An AZ, my goodness. And looks like that is going to be it. Uh, looks like the opponent is going to be able to win. Yeah, so unfor as unfortunate as it was, guys, I have to say that this was a uh, very, very good game. Uh, just very close, wasn't really sure. Maybe having drawn onto a Juniper would have been a better option, but unfortunately, it looks like that is going to be it, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.